Hello, all you demons, and happy Friday. I am so excited today. I have some great stories lined up for you guys. Today, we're going to be looking at some terrifying Christmas creatures from around the world. Make sure to stick around to the end, though, because I'm going to have a funny bonus story. So without further ado, let's get started. Icelandic folklore talks about a troll witch named Gria, or in translation, the Growler. It's said that Gria lives in the mountains and each year comes down to search for naughty children who have misbehaved throughout the year to drag them back to her cave to eat them. She's said to do anything from boil these children to just dismembering them. Some of the depictions that are seen of her are terrifying, like this one over here? Yeah, no, I would gladly take a lump of coal in my stocking over that. This next giant creature is known as the Yule Cat and is said to be Gria's pet. The cat, however, is said to stalk the mountainside looking for not naughty children, but people who haven't gotten new clothes on Christmas Eve. In other depictions, the Yule Cat just simply eats your food in your house, which <laughs> is kind of funny. <laughs> This next creature is known as the Frau Plurcha from Austria. It's said that if this creature notices a messy house or unspun wool, they'll sneak into either the child or the woman's room and slit their stomachs open, replacing their organs with straw. Yeah, that's horrifying. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever seen a house with a spindle in it, so... Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are gonna be doomed. <laughs> These next beasts are known as the Stragele. These beasts are said to accompany Plurcha in searching for naughty children who have misbehaved. As if there's not enough creatures and demons looking for these misbehaved children. <laughs> They're described as large standing hairy beasts that mirror the looks of Krombus. However, in this scenario, the child is not only hunted, but also torn apart in the middle of the night. Again, cold does not sound like a bad alternative to being ripped apart. If you've made it this far into the video and you've enjoyed all these stories so far, please consider subscribing or just share it to a friend to spread some Christmas cheer. But enough about that, on with the next monster! This next one is a fan favorite known as Krampus. Krampus is essentially Santa's polar opposite. Did I just make a Christmas? Mm, son of a- He deals with naughty children by not only kidnapping them, but beating them with the birch branch, eating them, or just straight up dragging them to hell. But on a more festive note, there's actually a Krampus festival held. Participants in this event do everything from juggling fire to actually cracking their whip at the audience. Honestly, this does sound like something that I definitely want to put on my wish list or like my bucket list. Just take me to Krampus Festival, please. <laughs> Up next on this list is actually one of the coolest and weirdest creatures that I think I have researched on this whole thing. This one is known as the Mary Lude. This Christmas zombie horse goes to people's houses and engages them in a poetic battle of verses. The homeowner has to respond with poetic verses in retaliation to the Mary Lude, but in the end, the Mary Lude is welcomed into the home because it's seen as good luck and good fortune for the family. <laughs> the Mary Lude will then eat their food and drink their beer and go on to the next house. My only question is, why isn't this in America? <laughs> I would love to rap battle an undead horse every Christmas and party with it afterwards. Like, <laughs> up next on the list is Christmas spiders. Now, before you go screaming away, it's actually a very beautiful story. The story goes that one day a widowed mother was too poor to afford any decorations for her Christmas tree. So a group of friendly spiders decided to spin elegant designs across the tree. And in the morning when the mother woke up and opened up the curtains, once the sunlight came beaming through and hit the tree, their silk turned into silver and gold. This is actually where the idea of tinsel is said to originate from. Congratulations, you've made it to the bonus funny Christmas story. This is the amazing story of the 42 foot tall straw Yule goat in Sweden. This giant straw goat is made every year in Sweden. However, almost every year, it is either burnt down, hit by a car, or javelined. Precautions such as an on-site fire crew and flame retardant have been taken, however, almost always fail. And ever since the tradition started in 1966, only 25 goats have survived till the new year. What's even funnier is that on the 50th anniversary, it was burnt down within the first 24 hours of its construction. Also in another year, it said that a Santa imposter and a gingerbread man burnt down the Yule goat. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to join us over here at Demon's Corner, hit that subscribe button. And as always, have a good day and stay spooky. Bye-bye.